Just stay this side on the line. Yeah. Well, we were sitting having supper and um, we heard a loud bang behind us and everything just fell down around us. And when we turned around, there was, um, you know, all these people lying around with limbs missing and, um, you know, it was it's really not nice. Went into the building and there was about six or seven um, Badly injured uh, people, the one guy was uh, quite bad, both his legs were blown off and um, it was a bit chaotic inside. What we initially always try to do is um, get the people out of the building in case it's a secondary um, explosive device. It's, it's a very big restaurant and we estimate there may have been as many as 150 people uh, there at the time. Uh, the police are busy on the scene doing an analysis of what has happened. Uh, the Minister of Safety and Security will make a much more fuller statement tomorrow. He has told me just now that he has just briefed the President about the incident and about what they think is happening. But then a st fuller statement will be made tomorrow. The government condemns this. The President is shocked, is outraged by this kind of incident. Uh, we do not know if there is a connection between this organization and whoever may have been responsible for the bombings in uh, Afghanistan and, uh, and Sudan. We prefer not to comment about what has what happened in the Sudan and Afghanistan because the incident is obviously going to be a subject of much speculation, discussion and even exchange of opinion. At this stage, you will be aware that we haven't said anything about it, and we do not think we should say anything until we've got all the facts. Just, just on a background basis, you might say... An organization has claimed responsibility. Uh, I'm not going to identify them at this time until such time as we've taken a statement from the person who received the call. The call was made to a local radio station and taken by a journalist there.